Hey guys, good morning. How are you guys doing? <laughs> um, so I arrived Durham yesterday and obviously I couldn't vlog because it was late, I was tired, all of that stuff. But today is officially my first day of work. Um, I'm gonna be meeting with the manager with my manager this morning and I'm gonna get handed over to a doctor and I really don't know what to expect today. I don't know if I'm gonna be working the entire day or you know I've I really don't know what to expect today. I think my shift today is actually supposed to be a 12 to midnight, 12 to 10 or 2 to midnight shift. I'm not very sure. However, I have to resume by 9 a.m. because of the um, HR stuff, admin stuff I still need to do. Because like I don't have like an email yet. I don't have like an ID card yet. All of that stuff. So that's those are some of the things I have to do this morning. And how do I feel? I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. Um, I woke up so many times over the night. Well, that could be one of that could be two things. One, the anxiety. Um, two, the fact that this is a new environment and this is my first time sleeping here. Um, so yeah, I really <laughs> I'm just trusting God to help me and praying for favor, praying that God will just strengthen me and help me today, help with the anxiety and everything that I'm feeling. Um, so I finally, finally woke up by like past six to seven, had my bath. Um period and all of that and i'm ready to go so i'll try to take you guys along with me for my first day of work but honestly i can't promise that i'm going to do too much because this is a new environment i really don't know what to expect and all of that yet um but yeah i have to go now and i will talk to you guys again later bye so guys quick outfit check this dress was actually the same dress i wore for my interview and i decided to wear it today again on my first day um so i have my dress my jacket my bag um i'm also wearing pantyhose and then pair of shoes so that is the outfit of the day <laughs> bye guys guys so um today has gone well so far um i pretty much done a number of things i've been able to get like access to computer in the hospital like employee access i'm here to get my email address um but yeah i've done a number of things i met one of my consultants today and he was really nice guys <laughs> coming from nigeria things are so different like here you get to call your consultants by their first name like you don't even have to put a doctor so and so they just say oh just call me xyz and it's so interesting because obviously i'm not used to that when you see your consultants coming in from in nigeria you stand up you greet you do all of that but obviously this is the western country or western culture so things are a bit different over here um so i guess that makes things a lot more easier because then it's easier to approach your consultant and just like discuss things um so yeah it's it's pretty nice um so i was supposed to walk like i told you guys earlier i was supposed to walk 12 to 10 p.m today but because i went into work earlier so i did like nine to like past 12 trying to sort out everything that i needed to do in terms of administrative work and i was given break till two so it's almost two and i'm going to be going back and i will be doing two to six p.m um just shadowing basically um so yeah and i got my id card already i showed you guys that already and yeah so i just come had lunch i had a parcel delivered yesterday and currently my current headache is the fact that i don't know where they delivered that parcel to um there's a delivery for to however i've asked at the residence here is not here so i'm going to ask at the main hospital reception and i'm hoping that it was delivered them it's a work like footwear for work um so yeah i'm gonna go back to work in a few i'm literally just standing up to go now but so yeah, that's what's up. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? So I was supposed to... You know what? I'll just continue holding this mic because <laughs> I get scared that oh, well, if I like 
clip it on my top and it's actually not picking my voice well so let me just hold it <laughs> guys i'm supposed to come back here yesterday to give you guys like a feedback after working from 2 to 6 and just tell you guys what i think about what it's like um and just just you guys about what my first day was like basically um but yeah i didn't get to do that unfortunately um but how was yesterday i mean we've spoken about the beginning part of yesterday so the remaining part of yesterday it was okay um <laughs> i have a lot to learn that's for sure the system is pretty different um because here they use like electronic medical records um so everything is like computerized and you need to learn how to use the system and it's not just straightforward oh this 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 you need to understand how things work with the system how to request labs it's a lot <laughs> to learn basically um but yeah i'm hopeful that i would you know get on board as soon as possible i still i'm going to shadow for a minimum of two weeks i believe so yeah i'm sure that in that period i would be able to pick up as many things as possible so for the most part of yesterday i was just feeling very overwhelmed like where do i start from i have a lot to learn am i going to be able to learn all of this so yeah and when i came home those were the thoughts in my head this morning i woke up as well i was just like overthinking everything um but i'm trying to remind myself that i can do this and honestly thinking about it i was just very grateful for the job i did in babcock because it really really expanded my knowledge of medicine and also gave me um some form of introduction into how a and e works um so yeah yeah i'm grateful for my backup job okay um so yeah what have i been up to today today is a free day for me i'm free today and tomorrow so that's wednesday thursday i'm back friday saturday sunday then i'll be free monday through to wednesday i believe so i just went shopping guys i should show you guys everything i bought but i have packed a number of them into the fridge this tripod is falling again stay in hospital accommodation so this is my room and it's in sweet so i have like a bathroom and toilet however the kitchen and the living space are shared the living space i really don't mind you barely see me there because yeah my room is comfortable enough right i don't really need to be in the living space but the kitchen thankfully everybody has like different schedules everybody living here is in a like, different department so yeah like currently the kitchen is empty so you can easily do your cooking when people are not there and just you know so the, what they've done is they have like one two three four they have like five six fridges and freezers in the kitchen so there's quite a number of space for everyone obviously you don't you're not expected to buy like so many things um but yeah so i just went out today guys and i spent almost 65 pounds look at my receipt and what i was asking myself is what did i buy because i'm not understanding i'm supposed to even get a blender but i couldn't get one because they don't provide blender but every other thing they make available but there's no blender i intend to still get a blender and air fryer i mean later on right um so i was planning to make stew but because i didn't get a blender i can't make stew today so I'm, i will most likely have to go out again tomorrow to get a blender um so maybe i'll just show you guys a few like skincare stuff i got like so for yeah. the skincare stuff i got i got this dove body scrub i've shared about it before on this channel on my shorts on things i love i really, really love it and it was on sales 50 percent off actually 50 percent sales so it was i got it for three pound 49 mm -hmm. i think then next off i got this body sorry okay let me just take it one by one right so i got this redox radox i'm not sure how to pronounce it shower mousse so this is cranberry and apple blossom and it was on sales it was buy one get one free so i bought two different scents this is jasmine and brazilian passion fruit and i think one cost 2.99 to three pounds basically but so i got two for three pounds essentially mm -hmm. then for my body wash i got imperial leather i wanted to get dove but i wasn't liking the scent of the ones that he like that he had and fiona told me before that she's using imperial leather and it was very good um and i mean i've used the paraleda bar soap and it was nice so this is cutting flour and vanilla orchid let me open it up and actually smell yeah not bad i bought this in boots for one pound 99 however and i got super drug and saw that it was on sales in super drug for one pound 20. but i already bought it and i bought another scent as well i bought a smaller size of this one because i just wanted to have two options um i got mallow and rose milk this is a smaller size so this was like half price this was a 99p okay okay i like 
Then I got a Colgate mouthwash. I mean, I got hand wash as well. I got this in. I don't know the scent. It just says Love Hearts. Got a sponge. Yeah, those are all the things that I got. I haven't even really smelled like the Redux and everything. Everything I bought was food stuff. Um, I've packed, like I said, I've packed majority into the fridge. Here I just have this granola I got. I hope I really like it. There's a Ribena behind me. In my bag here, I just have like corned beef, oil, um, sardine, mackerel, okay, um, plum, sweet corn, rice, and that kind of stuff. So, sure. those are the things that I got today as well. Then I got like tomatoes so I can make stew, chicken. Um, what else did I get? I got some fruits, grapes, um, salad. They're all in the fridge already. So, that's what's up. That's how my first week is going. This video is already too long, okay. So, I don't know if this is the end. If anything else happens this week, I will let you guys know. Anyways, bye guys.